Okay, this is Grim Dragon, and this is my video review for World's Smallest Transformers Military Operations Commander, aka Shockwave. Um, this is a very nice mold of Shockwave, um, almost perfectly identical to his uh, G1 original, with the exception that it's only an inch tall. Um, Articulation is very good. Only, only problem is that this joint here is very loose. I had to put some kneaded eraser in there to tighten it up just a bit. Um, but yeah, color scheme is great. Uh, for some reason, just the toys made his eye red instead of the default yellow. But other than that, really nice. Um, almost looks like he could do lights and sounds, but he really can't. Uh, just because of the size of it. Um, really good figure. Amazing. And almost perfect likeness to the G1 original. Um, thing about the head, though, you might want to look out for. It's not doing it this time, so, okay. Well, there we go. Um, the head kind of sinks down if you don't have it on just right. But other than that, it's still very good. Very good figure. It includes the gun barrel, which is also very well done. Um, even has the clear plastic in the middle of it. Uh, clear plastic on the arm cannon and fist uh, arm cannon and fist and it also includes a uh, specially molded hand for G1 Bruticus or any of the um, transformers that came out of the Bruticus mold and I'll get into what that's for uh, in a sec um, let's do a size comparison let's just zoom out little bit. As you can see, he's very small. And I'll put Ruination next to him. And, oh, I don't know, can you see? Hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's get this in right. And I'm going to go ahead and put the fist in place. As you can see, and right now it looks kind of awkward on him, but it will look good in a minute. I can guarantee you that. Um, yeah. As you can see, this shockwave goes only up to, uh, not even up to, uh, Ruination's knee, which is really good, um, considering the scale is just right. Um, now let's get to transforming him. Pretty easy to do. Let's see if I can get this on camera. Okay. okay. I'm trying to do this on camera, so it's kind of tricky. But yeah, you just push the legs in like so. Put them together. Close in the feet. Like so. Rotate the wrists, and then hold them up with the gun barrel one first. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm trying to do this on camera. It's not easy. Oops. Uh, forgot to fold the uh, ears down. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Back to it. Yeah, just fold it in like that, and you do the same for this one. You want that hook to tab in just right. Little pegs on the arms that go together. Um, bring the feet down like that. Flip the back up. Push the thing in. It'll lock it into place, and finally. You put the gun barrel on and flip the scope out. And boom. 
very nice very nice uh, G1 looks almost exactly like the G1 um, the outer parts of the thighs, I mean the shins here shins and ankles are actually die cast metal the inner part is plastic the feet are plastic as well but and the rest of it's plastic but still very good scope yeah. and now why it includes the uh, hand for Bruticus is very simple you can just slide shockwave in there tab it in make sure the barrel straight and boom Bruticus got himself a new gun or ruination or whoever You're And just like the cartoon, where Bruticus once used Shockwave to shoot his own men, it's a very nice little detail. And that's why the thing's so thick. Um, get a side view of it. You know, very nice. Very nice. Oop. That's another downside. The um, gun barrel is all isn't on ratcheted joints. I guess like the original. I don't know. I never had the original one before, but um, yeah. So it might be a little looser than the original was, but still very good figure. Uh, hope you liked this review. Comment, subscribe, uh, and let me know what you think. Take care.